Now we're at Harbor Key today. Another beautiful sunny day in Port Alberni. The temperatures probably in the mid 30s today. And I'm down here on Harbor Key. That's what they call, uh, I think they call that the Centennial Pier. made it, I forget where they made it, and then they floated it here and set it up and connected it to the wharf. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And that uh, boat there is a bed and breakfast and a restaurant. And uh, I think it serves, I'm not sure if it serves Spanish food or, I can't remember exactly what recipe or what menu it is. Over there, that building there is the headquarters of the Lady Rose, the boat that goes up the canal down to Banfield. And There's the clock tower, which they just, uh, they took the clocks out and uh, put some native art on it and kind of did a bunch of work on it, made it better. The clocks weren't working at the time. So, and uh, there's a car that's had the corner bumped. But anyway, there's, isn't that that nice truck again? back again. And, uh, all the different shops along there. Uh, donut shop, an ice cream shop, and, uh, Mexican uh, restaurant. And then further over there under that green roof is where they have the uh, farmers markets and stuff. And there's a fish and chips shop there and a, a burger shop and stuff and a few other things. Um, there's a marina where they have uh, all the boathouses and stuff. Beyond that uh, Lady Rose building is the uh, what used to be the fish plant, and now it's a uh, um, uh, food development place. Uh, there's some fishing boats. Usually the RCMP boat is down here as well. None of these look like RCMP boats. People sitting in the shade having their ice cream or coffee or whatever. Donut shop there, it's quite popular. Some delicious donuts. That pink building, pink, I don't know, green or pink over, over yellow, whatever. That used to be a uh, fish store used to sell some really great fish but for some reason they shut down and way in the background there you can see the high rise <laughs> Port Alberni's only high rise um, and then uh, over there is the old Somas mill uh, in the background and then uh, further on is the pulp mill and uh, and that's over there, it's called Fisherman's Wharf, I believe. And uh, that's for, uh, I don't know, like commercial boats. And there's a gas uh, pump over there. And there's some boomed up logs. And up, following up that way is Somas River, where we were yesterday with uh, 
looking up and down the river yesterday at uh, Victoria Key. Well, this is this here where we are here is uh, Harbor Key, and uh, if you go up past those pilings and stuff, that's uh, where Victoria Key is. And uh, yeah, it's a really kind of a neat uh, area. The city has, you know, fixed it up really nice. And uh, even have a lighthouse, well, sort of a lighthouse on the garbage can. Uh, it's a bear safe garbage can, of course. And there's that, that restaurant. Uh, uh, yeah, pretty cool, really. You can always come and visit, you know, we, we like visitors here. There's the uh, uh, Star, Star Starboard uh, restaurant. Some really good uh, uh, meals there. Uh, quite a few of them are uh, seafood based. But uh, yeah, it's a kind of a kind of a good place to be. I'm just going to take a walk around. The, other side here and uh, see if I can find something else to show you. Over there is Home Island. A lot of salmon are caught around Home Island uh, on the, during the fishing derby in the harbor here. And lots of fish are caught down the canal over there. Uh, it goes all the way out to uh, Euculet and Banfield. And this eagle, if you want to ride, it'll fly you down there. And, uh, you can see his own shadow there. Yeah, pretty cool. That's a carving on the walk, what do you call it, the walkway here. And tables where you can have a little picnic. And benches, all these benches are sponsored by various people's families. salmon diving another another salmon there uh, another marina over there and uh, I think that boat is one of the spill cleanup boats uh, and uh, there used to be a sawmill over there and there is a current sawmill down over that way it's uh, Alberni Pacific Division and uh, further on used to be the uh, plywood mill and I live just up above that plywood mill oh see those white those two white boathouses there. If you went up just straight up the hill there, you'd probably come to my place. And uh, that's looking uh, south on the canal. Tide appears to be going out. As you can see, it's uh, the high tide line uh, 
white rocks and the and the dark gray and then down to the green where there's uh, algae growing and uh, that seems to be you know the water's dropping there and it does that every six hours drops down and then comes back up anyway and there's a lighthouse over there and that is a museum a maritime museum over where that lighthouse is and uh, yeah so this is just a nice park where people can uh, enjoy themselves there's a uh, Canadian flag and the BC flag and the Port Alberni flag and used to be the clock tower and the starboard restaurant. I think it's the starboard grill actually. <laughs> Cross purposes here. Hey. <laughs> that looks like some kind of totem pole, but I don't know what kind of totem pole it is. I guess it's dedicated to the plywood gods or something. Anyway, here's Canada's Merchant Navy. A lot of lumber, I imagine, was used to build ships. And, uh, the Merchant Navy ships frequented Port Alberni. Playground over there. Anyway, I guess that's probably enough for now. <laughs>